that this week? I don't. I'm the point of education. Uh, one of the things that was referenced in our uh, charter for Dunn's is the fact that um, staggering didn't work in the mix between uh, district teams, district and at large. Why did that be? Do you have the, you know, what's the page? This is an academic question. Yeah. Issue, yes, since it we're is. not talking about district. Well, it comes in with you know, the staggered. But, but it is a moot point. It's yeah. academic. Hmm? This point. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. We're sitting around. Page 18. Uh, I should probably go to page 19. 19? Page 19 of uh, the model, the model county charter. No, that standard terms are not recommended for the next system. I was just curious as to why it would work for one system, but it would work for another system. Yeah. Can you we get back to that? Can I take a look at that? Hmm? It's fine. Try to interpret what, the, what that means? No, it's work. Yeah. No. We do appreciate it being fine for that. I can't do anything. I can't do it. Okay. That's in. Um, uh, in the model charter, alternative number three, mixed out large and single member district system. Uh, and they do not recommend staggered returns with the mixed system. So, we'll look at it. No, I, I, I do understand it is, it is new, but I was wondering the dynamics involved in that, how it would come into play. It didn't work there, why would it work here? Okay. So, I guess I'm not interested too I'll we'll look at that question. All right, uh, let's revisit now and go to uh, uh, subsection 9A III, which is term limits. And we did have uh, some significant discussion last week regarding term limits. But I'm wondering if anybody would like to make some remarks about term limits. Again, um, I'm in favor of uh, two terms. I'm definitely in favor of term limits. Um, Push came to show that again, I think that you know, part of this commission is meeting in the middle, but uh, and maybe I go for three, but I, I definitely think uh, term limits are needed. Uh, again, I, I don't see any reason why we can't find, especially if we're now at large, we can't find the quality candidates every eight years to fill in these seats. So um, I, I think we can take out the, the um, lifelong political people, and uh, so I, I'm just in favor of term limits. If I had a vote, I'd vote for two terms, so a total of eight years. Mr. Schumacher? I agree with Rick. I think it should be a two-term, four-year terms, two, uh, the term limits of the two. I think uh, we should do away with the uh, professional politician, not have someone sitting there for the rest of their, their, their careers, 20 years or 28 years. We need new people coming in. We need new ideas, and I think uh, Two four-year terms would be enough for anybody. No, uh, Mr. Carnegie, just, um, I, I basically am against term limits, but it's because I think it's the voters who are the ones that should impose term limits. Um, that being said, I would meet Rick also in the middle and say I would support a three-term limit. One of the interesting issues, um, uh, if I may, when we throw this into the discussion, was last week I had said, I had said, well, if we have a two-term limit from the get-go, that the danger is that in the between years four and eight, we'll have a disproportionate number of lame ducks who've gotten themselves reelected one time, or well, government by a lame duck. And Mr. Waters suggested that if, that if we're gonna have term limits, that they kick in and after a couple terms, so we get some of that natural turnover that Mr. Rinko spoke about, and then have the term limits kick in. So I just want to put that into the discussion okay. as a possibility also, and then we'll ask Mr. Adonisio for his comments. Yeah, I'm in favor of term limits. However, serving on several boards over the years, Rick, yourself, Mayor, <coughs> it's a lot of work. You're away from your family, you miss a lot of events and everything, so you really don't know how many people are going to want to run for three terms or, or more. You know what I'm saying? It's a oh, good point. Anybody you know what it is? It's an obligation for us here just once a week. Anybody can step down. Absolutely. Term, yeah. term, sort of. I mean, we'll go to Mr. Neiman, but particularly if, if you're on a board, it's one thing if you're a 
state rep and you make eighty-seven thousand a year and you get a pension and you get benefits, as opposed to being on a board that's making you know six or seventy thousand dollars a year with no benefits. Mr. Reed? Personally, I support three term limits as well as rank. I think the idea of our county having the propensity of voting people in constantly over and over again, I think the best system will come from a different setup and a different dynamic that would change over three terms. Because some wouldn't want to run for all three, but some might. And I think having diverse and very people <coughs> via the council, I think, is the best way to go. So I support three term limits. Is there anybody that is 100% against term limits that would not want to consider any term limits in any form? Is there anybody that has that position? Mr. Curzon might actually have that position. We'll have to ask him. Uh, in all seriousness, I think we would. Um, when we see him. Um, but no other member is absolutely against, against term limits. 